Um, the movie's really fun. Thank ah, you. Thank you. Um, and I'm sure you had a lot for making it. I want to kind of take a step away a little bit from the movie and ask, what's your favourite Lord of the Rings movie? Oh, man. Fellowship of the Rings. <gasps> I'm going to say Two Terrors. I'll say Return of the King. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. Complete Why set. Not? Complete nice. set. Um, so, with your characters, there's not a lot about them out there because obviously two of them died very young and there's, because of that, it makes it a bit harder to research. How did you guys go about and getting these characters and making sure they were, you know, authentic to Tolkien's real experiences? I uh, luckily had a book of poetry which was published um, posthumously after Geoffrey had died. Uh, Tolkien uh, made sure it was published and wrote the foreword. Um, and I just used that as the sort of blueprint of the character. I had to say which which poem would have been about which character and which situation he would have been in to have led him to to write these things. Yeah, um, Robert had written a number of letters. Um, actually, every day um, he he sort of almost obsessively would write to either Estelle, who he was madly in love with at the time, or or to to his friends. And you get a real insight into who he was as a person. I think because. He was so eloquent and so well spoken that not only did you get kind of an account of what he was doing day to day, but also how he felt about the world and and um, and about relationships and and love and all those things. So it was really really interesting to have that resource. The, there wasn't as much published <clears throat> for for Christopher's point of view. Um, so I, I read I read the uh, the poems and the letters from the other boys, and uh, picked out certain aspects of what they was what they were. Um, noting about the groups and about you know their their lives and what happened sometimes chris's name would pop up and um so i, I did a lot of digging that way uh, i also just dived into the the world of the music he was a musician and a, and a composer and a linguist and a mathematician amongst <laughs> all the other things but um but the music was the, the real sort of key to the door for me in, in in that sense it made me uh it just it just made me able to inhabit that world a little easier did you look deeper into the TCBS and the culture surrounding that? Because if you dig a bit deeper, there's loads of cool stuff about it that didn't get to make it into the film. Mm -hmm. Is there anything about that that you sort of pulled from that wasn't in the film? And is there anything from research that you wish had been in there? I'm trying to think. What was there? I wish we had a good answer for you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure there was, but this was also two years ago. Yeah, we shot this So all the other stuff has pushed that out of my Who brain by now. <laughs> um, yeah, there's obviously a the movie's really good, guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of these things when you're making a film, you have to, you know, sacrifice some things. By the yeah. way, I said um, in order to to make a, a story work, you yeah. know. So if we would have put all the shenanigans that were the TCBS were getting up to, yes. yeah, and there were some it could things. Be a film on its own. Maybe, maybe, maybe what you're picking up on. We did shoot a few things, uh, a few scenes that had a little bit more length to them, and they got they got cut down, and they were some like quite uh, specific humorous moments that 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 didn't make it. Mm. But again, like Anto says, you do have to. Trim just to make the movie. Not make a four hour movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Longer than any of the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, one cool thing I learned is that you guys did some work with the people who played your younger counterparts. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and that you all had to like sort of find similar mannerisms and share them. Are there any specific ticks that you developed with your younger version that you then brought through that uh, you could highlight? Got for us? I was the. That was like that was that, that was, was an Arby thing, yeah that it? was Arby's thing. Oh the clap! And, yeah yeah yeah, and he's like right, <laughs> gentlemen or what? The Arby clap. Yeah the Arby uh, clap. Uh, gentlemen, a thought. Yeah. Adam was would would do this. Would do that a lot, sort of mm. almost trying to, trying to keep his real thoughts or his real words inside. You know, like a real, you know, it's like a very protecting thing. Yeah, young man, um, young Chris would do the. Uh, he'd, he'd be he'd be quite flitty with his eyes. He wouldn't be able to hold his eye contact very 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 long. And that was kind of a, I quite like that because they, you could see he was thinking, he was processing things, but also didn't want to be too uh, noticed by people. I quite like that. Um, but I think then later on, as I took the role over, um, he sort of grew in confidence a little bit and started to have, have a lot more opinions and be quite more, well, a lot more outspoken. Did they film before you then? Yes. 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 Yeah. We were on set watching them. Oh, right. So yeah. they established it. So yeah. they, we came in and were like, oh, a lot of our job's been done for us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, just got to grow that up. Yeah. Um, and obviously, like, running with that, the chemistry that you guys have and then you guys have with Nick is, like, absolutely at the core of the film. How, what was it like offset for you guys? Like, you know, did you sort of hang out around, like, sort of when you were filming? Totally. And yeah. Stuff? Yeah? yeah. Yeah. We spent many an evening in the, uh, in the old public house. Yeah. Um, Eagle and Child? 
Eagle we did. Yes, yes, we went to the Eagle and Child. Yes. Yeah. Have you been? I've been, yeah. I went Have to you really? a couple of months back. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, it's great. great, isn't it? Did you yeah. do a tour there or did you just go? Uh, I just went up for the day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man. I did like a Google tour. And stuff. Did you sit yeah. in their little booth? Uh, no, I didn't. It was, it was rammed. Was it? <laughs> yeah. We yeah. went, there was actually quite quiet. Yeah. It was, really? And we all had a little pint in the corner where they would have sat and we toasted the characters we were playing. It was That's really so cool. cool. It was totes yeah. emotion. It was actually yeah. class. I love the, the little reference yeah, uh, to the Eagle and Child in the movie, the little throwaway. Because oh, yeah, obviously yeah. you don't get the C.S. Lewis stuff, you don't get any of that in the yeah, story. Right, because right. you, you guys are the friends and it's yeah. a different different set, but that's, that's really right, cool. Yeah. 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 What's it, what they call the bird? Bird and the baby. Bird and baby, yeah. Is that the one from... That's the same The Eagle and Child. Oh, I call it, yeah. Okay. Bird and baby. And one final question: um, The Tolkien Estate has come out and sort of uh, disavowed the film, like not not criticised it per se, but said that they don't want to endorse it because they had no involvement in it. I wonder if you guys had any feelings about that. We we knew that that was going to be from from day one, and we kind of um, we weren't trying to sort of encroach on on that. We were making a story about this man's life, um, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm kind of indifferent on it because it's sort of it's it's a story about his life rather than them. Focusing really on Lord of the Rings and his work, um, and although of course you see through that how his life influences his work, I think it it really is a film about uh, just an incredible love, man. friendship, yeah. an incredible man celebrating him. You know. Mm.